So you yourself underwent some training to learn this resin art. How did it happen? Or did you learn it by yourself? Uh, well, I'm a self-taught artist. From childhood, I have experimented with almost all types of mediums. And I never had a mentor. But I I had that urge to, you know, keep on upgrading myself. So I always try and experiment. So as I told you, like, you know, I was just visiting USA uh, to my brother's place. And he just took me to an art store there. So, but I was not, uh, like, w- when I was just doing a shopping, I just saw that there was a workshop happening. And I, I told I want to, you know, participate. They didn't allow me because I was not carrying my passport as we just went out for shopping. So I was not having my passport. So I literally stood there, just observed them. And that made me that if I cannot learn this on my own, I am lagging somewhere. So, you know, that made me to experiment. I failed. I even spoiled my brother's, you know, home carpet in US. (laughs) I imported here. I wasted a lot of things. In fact, my family even told that you just take some place and go and work there. You're spoiling the floor. Because resin is something, you know, it it, it's, it has an exothermic reaction, basically. So it heats up. Mm-hmm. And when I was experimenting, when I didn't know much, by the time I mix, it will be so hot that I'll just leave it. And, you know, it will mm-hmm. just, you know, it will be all Pleasure. over the floor. Yeah, yeah. So I wasted a lot and uh, I experimented. But yes, it took me two and a half years to understand the medium. But now, even like, you know, just by looking at the picture, I can tell you what is the mistake that you have done. (laughs) Yeah, you have learned by doing so many things. Now, you know, ins and outs. Because when you learn from someone, basically, you are given a roadmap and you keep on doing that. And you learn only that much limited. It's only by ourselves doing things, we learn more. So you have basically experimented and learned by yourself. So that's very nice. So if when someone comes to you to learn resin art, how much time does it take for like, uh, what's the duration of your program to uh, help him or her? So right now, I basically have, uh, you know, my basic program is of one month, where I give them five foundational courses. And Mm -hmm. if they finish that foundational courses, they can experiment with any other, you know, technique they see on uh, net so I mm-hmm. make the foundation very clear because if the foundation is clear they can you know select do anything they can take up any orders they can take up any workshops so okay. they have to complete up in one month okay so and uh, once that one month is completed like uh, you said you have some community and do you help in some other ways also to Absolutely. monetize their art? So in that one month, along with the courses, I give them access to the community also because everyone has their own way of thinking. So they come up with new ideas. They may face some different issue. So they can discuss up, they can collaborate and, you know, uh, they can distribute the orders and they can work as a team. Along with that, I every Friday we even have live sessions wherein I teach them more of the business aspect as in, how to do the photography because resin is more about you know showing your the details of the art piece so it's like you know mm. uh, how to do photography how to set your instagram profile how to record okay. a reel how to you know uh, price your product because that is where many artists you know uh, lose out the money wherein they either uh, overprice it or underprice it thinking mm. you know, whether the customer will buy it or not So this all aspects, I help them and how to sell it, how to run their ads to attract more customers. Everything is being covered up in the system. Got it. it. Yeah, that's very nice because uh, even if one has learned the art, uh, if one starts monetizing it, then one gets more confidence and more time one can invest in it. Otherwise, it, it becomes just a hobby and like... Uh, one may lose touch with it like sooner or later if one has Absolutely. to do some other profession. So yeah. resin is a very, very vast area. You know, there's so many different things that can be done. So I give this five courses 
so by the end of the month they will be able to decide their micro area even in this resonant because some area some techniques will be such wherein their imagination will be more so mm -hmm. they can specifically go into that area and in that way they can just collaborate with different person in the community for example i'm very good uh, in creating beach someone is very good in preserving the flowers so they can become mm -hmm. a team so that none of the orders can go to anybody else so like that mm -hmm. uh, i'm just empowering them and you know helping them to become also. a team got it got it so in this one month program how much daily commitment time commitment is required from student side uh so it's like they need to give one hour per day okay it's just one hour okay. per day if they do it regularly they can start their business by the end of the month itself and are there any prerequisites like what kind of students or what kind of no, like uh, do there's no have some background in yes, yes. there's no uh, like you know uh, prerequisite as such you should be above 16 years because resin is a type of chemical so i do not hmm. prefer anyone below 16 years because you know uh, like below 16 the skin type is very sensitive and we don't know how it will react okay. though we take care about wearing gloves mask and everything still i do not hmm. like you know uh, prefer giving this course to anyone below 16 years and as such you don't have to be an artist it's a liquid it will flow on its own you just have to take care few things which you have which you master you'll get your desired output and any plans of moving to natural resin or you plan to continue with synthetic resin only uh natural resin is only used for medications as of now so we okay. are not getting uh, epoxy resin is what i used which is used for floorings also in uh pharmaceutical and many other places so we okay. are using the epoxy resin which is the least toxic form of resin right now okay. so okay. that is basically used for art purpose okay okay so uh, i know you are not well so uh, still you have like uh, spent so much time with us so i i'll try to wrap up like so, so that you can take some rest so one last question what are your future goals uh about like taking it further but because you are you just started like 3 uh, years back 3 or 4 years back and you have already accomplished a lot but uh, you must yes, be thinking I, of taking it a uh, big so i started like 3 years back but you know there was a complete i can say dead end last year when that online platform stopped and it made me uh, i can say it was another opportunity for me which guided me to have something of my own and that's how i had my app and now i have a plan to create a complete army of ethical resin art preneurs because i see many cut copy paste happening in the industry right now and i don't mm. want my students to sell cheap or unethical products just you know copying from someone so i see i literally visualize having an army of you know amazing ambitious women specially who can do and create world class resin art products so in next 5 years i'm pretty sure i'm going to have more than 10000 students and they all will be independent sure why not why not like and uh, you should go beyond 10000 also like uh... the whole world is, and maybe you can go international with this yes i am looking forward to few of the collaborations <clears throat> yeah so uh, uh, like i can see that you are not very well so uh, i'll wrap up this conversation uh, thanks a lot brajangna like you took so much effort to share your information your goals it's very nice to know about you and hopefully we'll have another session uh, when we can spend more time with you to know more about you thanks so much for having me here <laughs> yeah i really appreciate it you are uh, taking so much effort so i'll close the wrap, wrap up this session now thanks everyone for joining us 
and yeah prajana is a little under the weather so next time we'll get more information from her bye bye for now <laughs>